Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Nevada. This is Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today, as I have killed the legendary Scorpion. It's a shame no one was around to see it. Literally no one was around to see it. It was me just safe scumming like hell. Well, not really safe scumming, because you can't really safe scum uh, these days with... with, with did you get, can you save midway through combat? No, you can't save at the moment. Uh, in the original version of the game, you could, and uh, yeah, so you can't really do that. But I was retrying this battle, uh, as, we, as we saw at the end of last episode, and um, it's uh, it was pretty tricky, actually. Uh, but uh, I got lucky on this particular encounter. Uh, let me just reload over here, because I had to, uh, to use this one. Uh, I got lucky, even though I got poisoned. I, th I think we should be okay with the poison. Uh, I got lucky because the legendary scorpion was all the way over here, so he took uh, quite a while to uh, to get to me, so I was able to land a pretty decent first shot. I think it was a fifth. Was it the second shot? No, no. The this was the first shot. Still no blinds. I don't think I ever blinded him. Um, penetrating almost to the brain from the eyes. Come on, how thick is his skull? I don't even know red sc uh, scorpions have have skulls. Thought they were look sort of insectoid thingies. I don't know. Um, seriously, how can you penetrate the eyes and not go to the brain? <laughs> but still, 55 hit points right there, and that was pretty good. I still landed uh, 33 at the end. Uh, let's see what we have. And we got a very heavy scorpion tail. That is the same as all the rest, but still, that concludes that particular battle. I'm very happy for it. Let's go ahead and save, and uh, let's continue looking for Milo, because uh, that's not where what we're doing here, but it is uh, something we need to do. And also, I think I just took poison damage. Yep, just took a bunch of poison damage. That's totally fine. Uh, I feel better, a little better, a little better. Everything is good there. Uh, of course, it was still quite a lot of damage. Uh, so the idea here is, well, go back. But I should say that before, in between episodes, I should say, uh, I got uh, ambushed up there. And uh, let's look around. And it was by mole rats. Let's see if we get... No... Yeah, and it was by, uh, I'm gonna reload, uh, and it was by mole rats, and I didn't fight them because I didn't want to, but we do need to get some mole rats, and, uh, and, and, and just have some of the, of their blood, but, um, but yeah, I think we need to find Milo somehow, uh, I'm gonna go to Black Rock, let's see, hopefully mole rats, no, nope, there's just an angry, wild, <laughs> Brahmin, hello, uh, actually, you know what, let's see what I can do here with you, is it like that? Or is it after you die? While it's alive, it won't let you use that. Okay, makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't actually do all the things I should have done. Let's go for the head. Ten points. I should not be doing this, by the way. I really do just want the mole rats. I'm blinding both heads. How did I blind both heads? Missed. Hmm. Can I end combat? I can indeed. Let's sneak up. Good. Take a shot. That's a kill. Okay, how much experience for that? A hundred. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Don't need the sneak. Do I need this? No. Okay, well, let's reload. Let's look for the mole rats. Because I really want to find them. Uh, and I found them some more or less over there, but of course it's just random. And, uh, it's not... It's, it's reset, of course. Hmm. I found them in the desert, but I'm thinking maybe they're not in the desert. Well, let's go back. Time is not an issue. Time going back and forth. Okay, what is that? A pack of coyotes. No, I don't want that. I just want Milo. Not having any luck here. Oh, found something. That's not... Oh, that's great. That's exactly what I need. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, go for the eyes. That is 14 at the eyes. Let's get close. And let's take another shot over here. That is a kill. Okay. Save that. And let's get ourselves our knuckles. Because I'm going to punch these rats. Uh, also, before I do that, I'm going to get you over here. So I can do this. And uh, I have all the samples that I need to have. Which means I can go back to uh, Vault City. Let's get these rats out of the way. Because it's always experience. And I'm not too shabby at punching. What is that? Oh! I thought that was a rat. 
Zelda roots in the middle of nowhere. That's interesting. I wonder if I need... What? It's gone? Aw. The thing is gone. I was gonna say, I wonder if I need uh, uh, anything from from the rats. From those rats. But as it turns out, I don't think I do. Okay, well, let's go to Vault City. Uh, you can tell that I'm still very tentative in regards to... Uh, to what I explore, what new areas I'm going to. And I'm doing that on purpose. Poseidon Oil, everybody says that's cows, it's fine. Uh, everybody says that it has a lot of radiation. I really don't want to mess with that for right now. I could take Red X, but I'm thinking I'm going to need a lot more than that. And I can wait, it's fine. Not having a time is uh, is great uh, for that. And uh, hey guys, can you... Oh, what is that mouse cursor? What the... Oh, there it is. Hello. Um... Can you take me to the vault? Yeah. I wonder if it's, I mean, it's nighttime, so maybe, maybe time didn't pass. I repaired that already, didn't I? Good. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Let's go back inside and give Dr. Uh, whatever his name is, the, uh, the samples. Even though I don't think I have them in my inventory, I also have a cat's paw magazine. Maybe he's gonna tell, he's gonna let me know why, the why that is even a thing. Hello, I don't understand these things. Uh, I have a fever, a headache, and internal bleeding. Do I? That sounds terrible. I'm infected. Oh, he's gonna hear me. Uh, <laughs> what again? Was the last treatment ineffective? Let's see. Try again, shall we? Okay. Thank you. Uh, I didn't notice that I was uh, the viral infection. I gave you the, some antivirals to help with the infection. You should be fine now, but I can't guarantee the virus won't come back. Isn't that the point of us having uh, antibodies? That the virus, once they, once we have the... I mean, I guess it depends on the viruses. Because some viruses get past our antibodies uh, or our immune systems. Um, so I know how I got infected. And uh, thanks, Doc. It's fine. I got hit by a legendary red scorpion. Uh, let's talk about mutations. I have a sample of pig rat blood. Oh, excellent! We must freeze the sample immediately, even though it took you days in the wastes. Uh, I don't think there's any live pathogens in there. Or maybe they are, and freezing them is going to kill them, pro probably. Oh, yeah, if you find any samples, bring them to me. Good. Uh, okay, uh, so how about coyote blood? Excellent, we must freeze! Sure. Uh, and I'm getting experience for each one of those, which is fantastic. How about the gecko blood? Excellent! More freeze! Oh yeah, this I think is all I need. Uh, all I needed. These samples will be enough for a couple of weeks of research. I'm very grateful, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, but uh, Doc, after I worked with those dead mutants, I have strange feelings. I feel nauseous, feverish, head hurts. What happened to me? Oh, quick, sit down and I can examine you. Oh, we've been over this. What is going on? You're fine. Just an infection. Okay, I'm... Why seriously? Why why that? We're not we're not a tribal from from Fallout 2. We know this stuff. I mean, we have t 10 intelligence. I know what infection is. Yes, foreign microorganisms, my character says, definitely not the doctor, and viruses invade the body. Which is a good thing because viruses are not organisms. They're not alive. Uh but it's true. Uh and um leading to an immune reaction. Well, actually, the infection isn't the immune reaction. The fever is the immune reaction, as far as I know. The symptoms you described are how your body fights the invasion. How could such a tiny creature... Oh, my God. Seriously? I'm afraid this is a common problem for Vault citizens. You see, our bodies are used to cleanliness and sterility. The wastes, on the other hand, are anything but clean and sterile. An organized... Because they wouldn't be clean, cleanliness and sterility, so that's why I said that word right there. To correct <laughs> the line... <laughs> Anyway, an organism can adapt to an infection only after it receives it in small doses, or large doses as well. But due to our clean living environment, our immune systems are not exposed to many infections. That's why you got sick so easily. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what will happen if I don't get treated in time? I think we've had this conversation. Uh, no, we didn't. Wilmot taught you how to treat infection at the campfire using wild plants. That's great, actually. So he says it depends on the severity of the infection. Uh, they go, yeah, so how can I treat it on my own? And he says, 
Uh, you should go to a doctor if possible, but if you find yourself infected in the middle of the desert, then try to mix antibiotics with Zender root. You'll have to beat the mixture, so, uh, or, sorry, heat the mixture, so you'll need a fire. It's not perfect, but in an emergency, it'll do. Clean water will help, too, if there is a thing like clean water in the wastes. Uh, sure. Um... How long will it last? Your body will fight as hard as it can, depending on your own endurance. If you isolate yourself from the outside environment, your body will eventually clear the infection entirely. If you're constantly exposed to a hostile environment, however, your infection will progress much faster. Oh, that's cool. I suppose if we take more bites from animals, I suppose that's what that would be. Thanks for the explanation, and I'm glad that I came over here. Um, I don't need medical atten attention, though. No. Everything is good. And uh, we have gained all the experience. Unfortunately, it didn't level up, but that's going to take a little while. Also, I need to be careful about this, um, but that is also fine. So I got all the quests done up here. Uh, I talked to Harold. I have no new things over there. My inventory space is looking terrible. So we could go to New Reno to try and sell some things before we go to the military base, because that's definitely where I need to go. Milo can wait. I'll figure it out eventually. It's fine. Um... But, uh, but yeah, New Reno is probably the blessed, the blessed, the best place for us, the place for us to, um, to, um, to sell things. Although I could go to Gerlac as well. Is it Gerlac or is it Black Rock that has a trader? I think Black Rock that has a trader. And besides, we could also look for, for Milo in there because I think I might have missed something. And it might, the resolution of the quest might be there. Uh, a small group of mole rats. These are not the mole rats. I just killed, but they are the mole rats that I found off camera. And, uh, yeah, these are the big ones. There we go. And, uh, they give a little bit more experience, which is also nice. And, uh, let me look at my ammo situation, because I probably will need to buy more of the 10, uh, it's not 10 millimeter. What's that? 5 millimeter, I believe? Uh, rifle rounds. So, hello, everyone. And, uh, I still think that you might be the culprit of this whole affair, but, uh, can't really can't really do anything here so he can tell me about him and my reward and all that sort of stuff but he doesn't he doesn't actually do much apart from that which is a shame so we got a lucky we got a little bit of money which is fantastic cat's paw magazine okay uh those are, don't weigh anything these weigh something so i'll definitely sell that the broken laser pistol is actually kind of heavy and i don't like that nuclear rush what's that for strategy game oh yeah um Functional radio, some paper, and that. Mm. What is weighing me down so much? Flasks don't weigh anything. These don't weigh anything. The eggs? Oh, New Reno is where I'm going to get the best out of the eggs. It's true. Is this heavy? Sort of. Torn leather jacket. I suppose I can make some out of that. Is this expensive? I'll keep it. I'll sell some of these. Let's just keep three. Three of them is good. Do these weigh anything? They do not. These are water drinking, actual drinking water that weighs stuff. Uh, it is... Yeah, I probably will want that. I can sell these. One. And I keep these because I don't really have... Oh, laser pistol. Yeah, we don't really... He doesn't really have that much money. That is heavy. Oh, it's expensive, I should say. These suck, and yeah, then there's some more things over here. Okay, so we're up to 240. Let's see what else I can get out of this guy. Unfortunately, not rifle ammo. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Okay, well. Let's see how much for one of these. No, not enough. Yeah, and uh, this is probably why I'm so over-encumbered. I am selling some, some of my weight, but yeah, there it is. Uh, so I have gecko eggs. Great. I'll give you 50 bucks to uh, a pop for them. Uh, why are you buying them? Because caravan drivers will buy them for more. They pay top dollar for them in New Reno because they are hard to get and easy to preserve. Uh, I'll think about it, about it then. Thank you for telling me where I should go because that's exactly where I'm going to go. <laughs> this guy. Maybe I need to talk. Yeah, the thing is maybe I need to talk to other people uh, and they will incriminate Willem. Uh, so can I... Oh, about the missing courier. What's... What's to know? He's just a couple of days late. It's nothing. Yeah, are you sure? You're always looking for ways to get rid of people, aren't you? Oh, you think I need something, huh? Me mean old Justin just looking for reasons to kill someone. Is that what you think? You don't know a fucking thing about me. I do. 
I know that you told me, a complete stranger in this town, to go kill the other lady on the other side of town, just because. And actually, you said, that was the reason, well, it's the plague that she has, but it's not the plague. You don't know that it's infectious. I think you meant other things as well, not just the, pla the plague. And especially because he was going on and on about how she was a sex worker and all that. Um, is that what you think? I don't know a fucking thing about... Oh, you don't know a fucking thing about me. Anyway, I've been here all along. Ask anyone. Your courier is probably drunk in a ditch somewhere. I like how defensive he is. I also apologize for the uh, fireworks on the background. And because those suck. Even... It's just... I, I'm sorry. You might not be able to hear them. But still, they're very close, this ones. Uh, I'm watching you. I am watching you. You hear that? I could say that I don't... Oh, he has money. That's great. So let's sell him... Uh, the spear. Do you like the spear? It sucks. And he does does like that spear, which means he pays more for that, which I don't like. How about that? Oh, that's perfect. That's nice. Thank you very much. You can keep the three bucks. And I gave you two lanterns. Do you have any more for me? Yeah, go strangle that whore. Yeah, sure. I'll think about it. Can't, can't, yeah, just, there's not a whole lot of ways to say no to quests. Like the one in Vault City as well, that you, I can't just say no, I think. Or can I say, no, I can't say no on that one, yeah. Um, so, have you heard a story about the missing Bra- or the story about the missing Brahmin? Brahma, Brahma. Uh, can I ask, uh, okay, eh, we're good. So, let's take care of these guys over here. I wonder how much li- how much am I'm liked over here in Black Rock. I can't see Black Rock in here. Why can't I see Black Rock in here? Ah, there it is. Scroll wheel wasn't working. Maybe he knows something. Hmm. Maybe he knows, maybe any- everyone knows something, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's talk to everyone, because I'm pretty sure that's what I'm missing here in regards to uh, to Milo, the hunter. So, hey guys, uh, okay, I think I'm going to need... I'm going to need to level up traps anyway, so I think I'm going to need 30 at least. Let's see, and they're probably going to die. Uh, I'll try, let me see. I can't help you, okay. That's actually great. It tells me I don't pass the, the skill check. Uh, and there it is. I think I see how to disable these. I'll get them off now. We're free, he laughs in joy. I can't believe it. You saved us. He moves his head about on his neck like it's the first time he's ever done so. Oh, it's amazing. Enjoy, guys. Oh, both of you? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. well, I guess so. Did I get the, the colors? I did get the colors. Taser pre-war production in the form of a collar. Once it has been used in prisons, now it is a great tool for... Uh, the slave trade and exploitation. Well, I thought I, I didn't think it was going to be tasers, but these do indeed look like taser collars. Um, do prisoners use taser collars? Hmm. That sounds. I'm not really sure what to say about that. I don't know. Uh, and I mean prisoners in you know civilized world uh, countries because you know, well, unfortunately, there's a lot of cruelty in, in a lot of countries throughout the world. Hello, sir. Do you know? Do you know? I think I talked to him, actually, before. Um, but uh, he doesn't uh, He doesn't have anything. So maybe this guy? Eugene? Hello. Yeah, he... Uh, for one, he talks to me, which is interesting. Uh, so, which might, makes me think that he might have something for me. I just don't have the information yet. Uh, but maybe... Uh, what's his name? I don't remember it. Oh, no. I hate it when this happens. Oh, but I can fix it. Good. Oh, he does have things over there. So what is his name? Gravedigger. He has a name. They called him a name. Bob. Bob the Gravedigger. He doesn't actually have anything interesting to sell. Anyway. Hmm? What? Uh... Oh... Oh... Well, I guess I, w I guess we know what happened. You have some nice boots there. Where'd you get them? Um... Uh, just, uh... On a dead man. Just any old boots? Hmm, any old boots from an old corpse? Show me the soles. D d what, what for? They're just d boots? Uh, show me. If there's a star on the soles, then we'll talk about what happens next. He looks around frantically. Wait, I um, have to go see Justin. Uh, so Justin is a part of this. Hmm, tell me what you know about M Milo, or the next one buried out here will be you. Exactly how did you get the boots and Justin did though? didn't though? Uh, all I want is the truth. Yeah, let's try and push him a little bit. Let's see. Let's, yeah, ma so basically there's... Hmm. 
multiple ways of persuading him. I like the first one. It's kind of halfway through. Not really. Well, let's go with the, the first one. Uh, the, which is what I read. Don't touch me, I'll fight you! Oh, really? After... You have to come, come clean with me after all I did for Blackrock? Don't you think you can do that? You won't tell anybody? Please, Justin and William can't know about this. They'll kill me. Oh, what's going on? Just tell me what happened. It's it's Justin's son. It's all his fault. Him and his gang, they, they killed Milo, took his stuff, and made me bury him. It, it wasn't my fault. I just, I just have, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just dug the grave, that's all. Hmm. Okay. Who attacked Milo? Looks around in fear, and his voice drops to a whisper. The Mole Rats Gang. Justin's son, he's, a, he, he's one of them. Uh, why did they make you dig Milo's grave? They had, uh, they had to hide his body, and uh, I, where else, if not here? I mean... Yeah, the wasteland is a good point. Yeah, is it... I mean... We're talking... We're literally... Isn't it very commonplace for stories to feature the burial of a, of a murdered victim out in the middle of the desert, out of the, in the middle of the Nevada desert, in a world with millions of people around there, let alone in Fallout? And where else, indeed? Well, they might have tried to get him to fall for it, though, but I'm not, I don't predict that to be the case. Uh, but that would explain where else, and just, they just sort of convinced him, indeed, where else? Um, so, um, why did you take Milo's boots? I just wanted to wear something nice. If I knew this would happen, I wouldn't have taken them. Hmm. So what happened to Milo's delivery? They, they took it. They, ha they had a, a wall sack of gecko skins and, and they found it all. They took it all. Okay. So why didn't you tell anyone? Uh, Justin wouldn't hurt me, but his, his son, he told me to keep my mouth shut. So I, so I keep it shut. You won't. Tell him I talk to you, right? No, I'm just gonna kill his son. Don't worry. Just go around and kill people. It's it's I'm the it's like that. I have a rifle. That's how it works. If I had a hammer, I would I'd hammer him in the face. Actually, we don't have sledgehammers. Have we seen a sledgehammer in the game yet? I think we have. I don't think I picked it up though. I th I'm pretty sure we have. Oh, we saw we saw one being sold, I believe. Um, I'll deal with this myself. Do you actually trade? Or I think yeah, I think I looked at that. Okay. Yeah, you wait here. Don't you dare leave town. People need need um. Wait a minute. So if he buried him... Should I dig up the grave? Let's not. Those thing, That thing takes away karma, and uh, I don't really care for that, to be honest. For the karma or for the graves. Uh, so, let's go and have a chat. I wonder who Justin's son is. I wonder if it's Eugene. That would make some sense, because he's standing right next to his father's do uh, house. Um... So he goes back to there. What about your son? Where was he at the day of Milo's m m disappearance? He lunges forward. Don't you fucking dare! Don't you fucking blame my son! He'd never, never! I've sheltered him from this since the day he was born. I forced him out of that fucking gang, and, and now you come in and do everything I've worked for? Get out! Get out before I tear out my... L uh, I thought he was tear out my lung, shouting at your face, which is... But, yeah, but no. Tear out your lying fucking tongue. Hmm. Yeah, Milo's corpse is in the cemetery. Uh, see for yourself. Oh, I'll go. I'll see. And then you'll see. You'll see he had nothing to do with this. He, he, he couldn't have. Couldn't he? Couldn't he? The son of such a jerk such as you. You know, you, uh, we both leave the cemetery uh, and come back after Justin sees the truth. No, he sees the corpse. He realizes the truth. He collapses onto a stool... Okay, and grabs his head, letting out a long, miserable groan. I'm gonna push him. I'm sorry, world's best dad. I didn't catch that. Can you repeat it again on the groan side? His voice is barely above a mumble. Fuck you. You have no right to judge me. Oh, it's not about rights, mister. <laughs> I don't need rights to judge you. I'm just a motherfucker with a weapon. <laughs> You'll die. You'll die if you try to shout at me again. But he, I don't think he is. I think it's just going to be okay. Uh, do you understand why I always fought newcomers? How can we be responsible for them if we can deal with our own problems? You don't need to be responsible for newcomers, though. Nobody's responsible for you, so... I don't... That's not a justification for anything. <laughs> what? This guy is so mad. 
Uh, God, Eugene, how did it ever go this far? Oh, it was Eugene! Ah, okay, so I might have been able to go talk to... Uh, it's a good thing I saved before, so... Let's see, I, I hope Eugene is still out there. How did it ever go, go this far? What far? Well, he was part of a gang. You took him out of the gang and he go, went back. That's not far at all. It's just... And I'm sure he did way worse things. I've done way worse... No, actually. Did I kill innocent people yet? I say yet because one never knows. Um, I don't know. I've killed people. Eh, sure. Uh, so you knew about this. N what? How could... How, what? How would one say this line after what he just said? Spe I mean... We, can, we don't have access to it anymore, but he said that he was in the gang. I never wanted this, he says. When I heard Willem wanted to set up a caravan route with Reno, I got pissed. My son offered to scare off the caravan with a few warning shots from the mountains. I said no, but I guess he told his new friends. I, I never meant for this to happen. All I wanted was a peaceful, quiet life. Yeah, he sort of forgot what he said. It, it doesn't compute. He said before that he had uh, taken him off of the gang, I think. And, he, and that came unbidden, because I didn't talk about no gang. And he just said that. And now he's sort of... Well, it kind of works a little bit, because he's saying that... Uh, he's, he's referring his new friends, I guess. It might, there might be stuff he's not telling me. So I suppose it does kind of can join together. Um, it seems you just weren't meant to have one. Huh. <laughs> one peaceful and quiet life? Certainly not. What now? Now? This gang, the Mole Rats, they just, they must already have a plan to attack the caravan. There's no way to stop them now. If you ha want to try, I won't interfere. But I can't help you. Uh... Yeah, there's always a way. Next time I see you, there will be a, a caravan here. I won't try to stop you, but mark my words, if this caravan does go through, raiders will come with it. And where there's caravaneers, there's whores, which I apparently hate because I, w I told you to kill one, right, just because of that. Thieves, which also I hate because... Wait a minute, what? Why would there be thieves with a caravan? The caravan comes to trade. The whores, yeah. But and corn, con artists. Well, the caravans, the caravaneers might be con artists. Our community will be another cesspool like Reno. And it'll all be on you. Well, Reno is nice these days. I don't know what you against Reno to be honest. This guy just you need to go to Reno. That's what you new Reno. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I keep saying Reno. It's almost as if the game says Reno every other t every other moment. Um, no, he needs to go there. He needs to see how beautiful it is. It's a nice town. It's good. Apart from. Well, there's just background of shots, but... And also there's jerks who want to kill you if you kill them, but apart from that, is everything is good. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so uh, let's talk to Eugene next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout, New Fallout Nevada, not New Vegas. Fallout Nevada. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.